Welcome, dear traders, you are watching a recap of the Asian session. On a Monday, stocks in the United States, Australia and the New Zealand slid down. Only the equity market in Japan showed a positive dynamic. Japanese indexes closed with the gains. And let's discuss what sentiment prevails today. Investors are still protesting the non-farm payrolls report. It confused those who were confident in a pause in the tightening cycle. Some analysts assumed that Fed is making a mistake by slowing down the pace of a rate increases. The decision to hike the rate by 25 basis points only prolongs uh, the fight against inflation. During this time, inflation may even accelerate again. Overall, fresh economic data confirms that the economy of the United States and other countries is in a dire straits. A contraction persists. Sometimes investors prefer to ignore some negative factors. However, economic problems and recession risks have not disappeared. The most positive outcome could be a price plateau, which is not seen yet. So, bulls will have to revise the economic prospects. Apart from that, geopolitical tensions are mounting between the United States and China, and the US shut down a giant Chinese balloon that allegedly had been spying on a key military sites. The US dollar took advantage of it, rising during several sessions. It climbed to a monthly high of 103.80 versus its main rivals. Perhaps a new surge in a risk aversion could boost the greater demand for seed having assets. However, in the Asian session, the greenback lost part of its early gains. It got stuck at 103.50 ahead of a Jerome Powell speech. And today, Powell will deliver a speech at the Economic Club of Washington. Speculators hope to get more clues about the Fed's future plans for monetary policy. And in the morning, the US dollar index was consolidating in a narrow range of 103.40 and 103.60, gradually declining. The Japanese currency is weakening amid internal factors. Yesterday, Japan's government sounded out uh, Bank of Japan Deputy Governor uh, Masayoshi Amamiya to succeed Haruhiko Kuroda in April. Interestingly, this policymaker is a vocal supporter of a dovish stance. Fresh macro stats also confirmed the effectiveness of an alternative approach. Real wages in the country reached the 26-year high. Haruhiko Kuroda has stated many times that with a weak yen, it's very important to raise the standard of living of a household by increasing wages. In December 2022, average wages in Japan jumped by 4.8%. Moreover, the indicator has been growing for 12 months in a row at the fastest pace since January 1997. So the ultra-soft policy turned out to be rather fruitful. This is why the regulator is highly likely to stick to it. And for the yen, it means a further fall versus the US dollar. And we can see downward movement on a yesterday trading chart. However, in the morning, the yen was able to advance to 132.20 amid the consolidation of the greenback and its relative weakness. In the Asian session on Tuesday, the dollar yen pair reached a monthly low of 132.90, shifting further into bearish territory. It was trading in the, the red corridor of 131.90 and 132.70. The further trajectory of the pair will be determined by the movements of the US dollar, and the yen is now lacking any positive drivers. And the Australian dollar also aged higher today. 
as widely expected, the Reserve Bank of Australia raised the interest rate by 25 basis points. It was the ninth increase since May last year. Reserve Bank of Australia Governor Philip Lowe said that global inflation remains very high. He added that this was not the last rate hike in 2023. The Aussie jumped amid such hawkish comments. On a Tuesday morning, it hit 0.6928. An increase in the commodity currencies were also fueled by rising oil prices, so the RTUs pair was moving in the bullish channel of a 0.6883 and 0.6952, and the New Zealand dollar scored gains as well. The country's stock market reopened today after a long weekend uh, and lost momentum. The meeting of the Reserve Bank of New Zealand will be held on February 22, as inflation in the country totals 7.2%. There is a prospect of a 50 basis point rate increase. However, the regulator may also undertake a 25 basis point rate hike. The Kiwi is a climbing higher due to such prospects. And in the morning, it rebounded from the low of a 0.6271 reached yesterday. It approached 0.6334 in the Asian session, moving in the bullish channel of a 0.6295 and 0 0.6341. If you want to trade with the gains, it's crucial to keep a cool head. One should act according to the market situation. It's the best way to protect your funds. Besides, it's also important to keep abreast of the latest market news. Subscribe to our channel and keep your finger on the pulse. See you soon.